What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go, Go back, back to Africa. Africa. Look, I got a very special brother right here in Ghana. My man, Coyote. Yeah. What's up, brother? How are I'm you? I'm good for you, brother. Look, family, I want y'all to meet probably one of the most intelligent minds that I've met here in Ghana. Yeah. This brother here, he has a mind that is like sharper than a nail. You know, uh, you got an engineering degree. Yes, yeah, sure. And uh, you wind up taking that engineering degree and fusion it with your fashion. Yeah. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Coyote. Yeah. I grew up in Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. yeah, I grew up in a tailoring um, family. So basically, uh, we have the um, the shop in front of the house. Yeah. I have uh, a first degree in engineering, electrical engineering precisely. Yeah. And uh, I would say I'm a fashion engineer and a fashion designer. Okay. So basically, I'm employing my engineering principles in what I do in fashion design. I want you to explain, because you broke this joker down to me, you know, about the difference between a fashion designer and a fashion engineer. Yep. Please share with the people. Yeah, but mostly people are just accustomed to what fashion designers are, mm -hmm. but not fashion engineers. Mm -hmm. Fashion design uh, basically is about you know, putting your concept into paper in the form of illustration mm -hmm. and then getting tailors and cutters to put those ideas together to make a cloth mm -hmm. for an ideal person. Mm -hmm. But engineering talks about the the figure that is going to wear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do we, you know, uh, alter those designs to fit the figure properly? Mm -hmm. And currently, we are doing fashion engineering, no more fashion designing. Before, fashion designing is just an artistic aspect of design. Mm -hmm. But engineering talks about the functionality of the clothes. It talks about the principle of engineering in what you're wearing, the textiles, the fabrics, and everything you're going to wear. So engineering is more what we are doing today than what used to be in the past. That is fashion design. Now, hold up, because you had shared with me you set yourself apart from majority of the fashion designers exactly because when you're saying we you're referring to you and your wife's business uh, yes yes yes, <laughs> yes 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 because because you said you 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 really threw me off guard yeah when you broke the fashion engineering down and how precise and specific yeah. and exact you are yeah. with your designing so sure. you actually did two outfits for my wife and myself what? and they were beautiful and you know i had wind up purchasing some fabric for my wife all right which is kente cloth very well known around the world that's mm. the probably the the best cloth you can ever get around in most countries you know of so, so. and high quality uh, a triple stitch yeah. and you put this whole outfit together that me and my wife did what was my wife's response when um you have finished it? because she came to you with this design yeah uh-huh you know what when she wore it she said she loved where the waistline is mm -hmm. and the dress is awesome Mm -hmm. That is the word I can remember she used. Mm -hmm. And she said it fitted her perfectly as though I know what figure she is. Mm -hmm. And I smile because I know the kind of things I put into the process to get that job done. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, um, it's engineering now. Mm -hmm. Fashion has evolved yeah. from the designing to mm -hmm. engineering. Yeah. Because we have to understand that um, we are dealing with a human body, which is... Um, a solid geometrical figure mm -hmm. that we are using a fabric that is a two-dimensional uh, you know uh, Cloth. plane yeah. that we have to use to cover a three-dimensional body mm -hmm. so you need the principle of mathematics and engineering to be able to construct this perfectly to fit that figure that is going to wear it and not everybody can do that not everybody you, that is, that, you said that, that yeah that is what set us apart from the rest of the because you also deal with alterations. Exactly. Yeah. And, and there are people, that, I had this, a guy alter uh, two of my shirts and the pockets were crooked. Exactly. And you said you, you actually created 
a so-called pattern or a mathematical, mathematical. equation it's, or yeah, something. The, the methodology starts with you know mathematical you know templates that we have put on paper yeah so we we train we I, I normally train people who want to work with us how to apply this principle this basic principle yeah in, in, in getting straight lines mm -hmm. getting the you know the slope because the the what we call it the shoulder mm -hmm. okay the waistline where it's located the crotch the length of the legs and all these things they are just basic mathematical principles wow you know, really when I'm doing this video, I, I, because me and you were talking yeah. and you had some interesting things that you were sharing about the success of African-Americans and other diasporas who are coming to uh, Africa yeah. and are failing in business. That's all. So. And you, you said, you know, I, I said, man, you got to share this with the people because I know a lot of people who's come into Africa who is desiring to do business, who have done business and who have failed. My thing is that you sharing this information, I think will be uh, profound because you had made, please share with the people what you had shared with me. Yeah, so I was, as we were talking about before that uh, I have seen a lot of, you know, Western uh, brands trying to come and compete in Africa, yeah. but they, they couldn't survive. Mm -hmm. Because one, they did not understand the culture of the people. Mm -hmm. Two, they do not understand them, our markets. Yeah. And then our pricing system. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, clothing is, is more traditional to every group of people. Yeah. Especially Africa. Yeah. In Africa, we, and we, 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 uh, we express ourselves in what we wear. Our status is determined by how we appear. Mm -hmm. And so we do not like wearing clothes that are mass produced. Yeah, okay. 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 We do not like wearing clothes that are mass produced. And then we need to also understand our physiological makeup. You know, the African, the way we appear is different from how the, the Western um, figures appear. Yeah. So if you put us into sizing, there's a huge chance that you're going to miss the, the market. Yeah. Okay. So I have seen companies like Pep, you know. Pep was uh, a clothing brand that came some years back. Yeah. They collapsed, they couldn't survive. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Woolworth recently, mm -hmm. I noticed they also closed down and Game has also packed and they're gone. I, I, we can go on and on and on and on. So it is important that uh, if, you know, African-Americans who are interested in doing business, especially in fashion mm -hmm. in Africa, they need to understand that we love to party. Yeah. And in our parties, we all want to be different, and we everybody want. But they gonna have their own separate out. type of uh, exactly. outfit. They don't want to be looking. No, the no, same. no, no. We don't like the, the same at all. Yeah. We don't want to look the same at all. Yeah. So, because you said that you know partying, you got weddings, yeah. you got we, funerals, we have you got outdooring. Yeah. We have birthday parties. Yeah. We have you know, we sometimes we have funerals that last for like five days. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and each and day, each, oh, well, we are taking our clothes. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> even the weddings. I before even you get married, yeah. there's this thing y'all do where it's like you show up and you have to wear these you different have to outfits. Wear this, exactly. Three or four, five days before before the wedding and itself, and even on the wedding day itself, you have to wear like three outfits. A two, yeah, three outfits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so, crazy. So, yeah, that is the beauty of our culture, and you need to understand that. that is the reason why we need to up the game a bit yeah in you know i was telling you that the human being has evolved the fashion society has evolved mm -hmm. yeah because human beings are now doing a lot of breast implants mm -hmm. you know uh but you know enlargement so, body enlargement uh, body yes. enlargement yeah. so it is changing the dynamics of fashion designing yeah so designers who just sit down and think okay i love this design yeah and i think okay it will go into the market and yeah. sell mm -hmm. no Mm -hmm. It's not going to sell like that. We need fashion engineers now, like myself. Mm -hmm. A tailor who tailors clothes. In America, we don't have many tailors. Very few you find tailors. All right. But you're saying you are beyond just a tailor. Exactly. You're talking about a person who can actually put together a person's wishes in their either the design they want, they want they can take like my wife she took i think three different designs design. and you made it you made it into yeah, one so she 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 has to pick parts of designs from other designs and then yeah. you have to combine in, into one right exactly so you need to also understand the 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 the, the consumer the wearer yeah that this is what she wants 
and this is the fabric she wants to use yeah so you the fashion engineer must also help to yeah. advise that okay this this ideas you're bringing this fabric cannot help bring out this idea somehow yeah but we can get it in a way we can add this to it yeah. so fashion engineering now as you know one of its kind in africa and i'm spearheading it i think it's it, it has a lot of room to grow back to the advice you were wanting to give because you did mention that you got to know the market exactly right um you got to know the pricing so and if you're not sure of the demand you're going to fail and that's the problem that we have is that we come and we overprice ourselves and we turn around and we think that because we got a good products sell good food or we make good food or we make a good outfit or something that we can come to africa and it's going to sell yeah. and pricing is one part you had made mention about pricing yeah. so that people can understand how do you differentiate because you got some dignitaries that so, you do so, outfits so, for. so, so you so. got some high class people oh you know that yeah <laughs> you know this that. dude's shot because actually i was me and my wife was taken to a uh, a, a seamstress and she does clothes and what my wife was wanting she said uh-uh i'm gonna have to call a guy who she knows is gonna do this and you all the way out I'm, we're all the way out here yeah. in dota uh, yeah so outside of a cry yeah man. and so they she called you up and said hey i got a woman who's want this right here. and so she said you in good hands yeah and to come to find out you do dignitaries and all these play people but you also do for the locals yes, but you know how to lay the prices out exactly. how do you come across that yeah it's all about the quality yeah you know there are some specific fabrics that requires a lot of time yeah to handle yeah to come out with good clothing yeah or outfit yeah and then there are some too that doesn't require much time yeah yeah so the pricing are very flexible mm. so that you know we look at the quality of what you want us to do for you yeah and then you know where exactly you want to present yourself yeah and then we know how much time and labor we have to put into it and then you get the best outfit that we can do for you so our prices are more flexible okay well you know we want to meet your other business partner your lovely wife yes sir. and then we're gonna go ahead and get into you all's vision so sure. okay all right please introduce your wife and your daughter oh my god this uh, is my beautiful wife yeah her name is edwina anderson adigon yes and this is my beautiful daughter temi tope adigon naela yeah yeah so they, they've been with me all this while mm -hmm. yeah and you have another another child yes but she he's in school now yeah yeah okay so uh madam you've been t together nine years married five years you've been in this business how has it been in this business for you well business has been very good mm -hmm. um Though they've been ups and downs, but then um, we keep on trying, keep on researching to come out with new trends. And aside that, we also have big, big dreams, and we have some visions, but great, great, great visions mm -hmm. that um, we really want to delve into. So, so you got some some big, big visions you want to dive into. So. What type oh, of visions, brothers, you have? Goodness, what type of vision? My goodness, my vision sometimes swallowed me up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, we, we we want to expand our production capacity. Yeah. Yeah, so that we can reach out to, you know, people across the world. Mm -hmm. And then number two, uh, you know, this has been one thing that I've, I've, I've lived with for 17 years now. Okay, so I want to, it's working now, so I want to impact that knowledge. So I want to... Uh, establish a training institution where I can establish, you know, impart my knowledge in fashion engineering, fashion design to, to, into students who want to pursue a career in fashion. And then the third one, oh man, oh man, I know Africa is growing big. Yes, it's growing. Because, yeah, yeah, because I've heard about, uh, you know, uh, Vanessa Williams mm -hmm. setting up a theater here. A oh, theater, would, yes. Oh, she I would set up love theater. to be part of that project. Yes. And then Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love that guy. He's bringing a studio, and with the mindset that I have, yeah, he can't move without me. Ah. I want to connect with him. Yes. So I want Vanessa to connect Williams. With, oh, Vanessa and then Idris. 
I tell you this right here, they would love to have a tailor like yourself, you and your wife, because I'm telling you, me and my wife are thrilled with our outfits. As a matter of fact, this is one of his, let me get back here. This is one of your shirts you had made that I want to sport oh, and show. Thanks, you know thanks, what I'm saying? thanks, yeah. man. Thanks, man. Yeah, these are the clothes that you have yeah, that you yeah, sell yeah. out thanks, there. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, and um, you know, I'm quite sure because you have found uh, the engineering part of really designing yeah. and you have a precise uh, uh, way of doing, doing things, yeah. you do things beyond than what most of the other tailors are doing. Exactly. Um, and so when my, my, my outfit was fitting, I mean, to the T and my wife's, I tell you, you know, you're gonna be the only one doing my outfit. And I want, and to, ask some, I want to ask something quickly. Yeah. For those African Americans who want to establish here, if they're looking for an engineer to work on their workshops, the machine specification, the ironing, and everything, yeah. they can consult us. Excuse me, you talked about expanding. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, there's, there's many people out here who are really love to help small businesses, want to invest, some want to be investors. Um, are y'all looking for investors? For sure, 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 yeah. sure, sure. We, we, we have, we have, you know, a business plan yeah. that, that is open for investors to join us and help us to expand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause I know one thing, I mean, there are people out here who have great skills and talents, yeah. but just don't have the, 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 the capital to go ahead and start or expand even businesses. Exactly. And so you want to get into a school, you want to go ahead and expand your business exactly. because this right here is their shop that they do all the the, the designing and yeah. sewing and everything. Yeah. So, okay. Well, you have social media? Yes, I have social media. Yeah. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. Okay, what's their names? Uh, you got a WhatsApp number? What's your WhatsApp number? Plus uh, 233. Yeah, plus 233024. Uh, plus 233249011660. And what is your social media names? Uh, for Twitter, it's Papa one Ten purple. Stain, stain purple one. Stain, stain purple one. Stain purple one. Yeah. Spell that. S T A I N mm -hmm. P A P A and number one. Number one. Yeah. Okay. And what about and, your other? But yeah, the Instagram is the same stain purple one. Okay. Yeah. And do you have your designs out there? Uh, yeah, because of um, the nature of what we do, yeah. we take orders. Yeah. So we don't like disclosing people's designs. Out there. Oh, okay. yeah, but okay. we have pictures that we've taken that very soon we start displaying. All right, family. Beautiful couple here, and I appreciate you all, and thank you for the advice, and thank you for even sharing with us. We believe your, your vision will come to pass. So much success to all and what you do. Thank you very thank much. You Go Black. Very much. This is your man, not your boy. Go, Go Black, Black to Africa. Africa. Think about it. 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 Think about it.